the Webb telescope has made an extraordinary discovery, suggesting the potential existence of another universe beyond our own. Recent observations focused on the early universe reveal evidence that our universe might have collided with another in its infancy. Scientists have identified peculiar ancient galaxies in the distant early universe that challenge existing theories. This discovery implies that the early universe was vastly different from the one we know today. By exploring deeper into the early cosmos than ever before, the James Webb Telescope has uncovered phenomena and structures that scientists never expected to find. In addition to these remarkable observations, the telescope has detected unusual phenomena that have left astronomers around the world amazed, altering our perception of the cosmos. The universe, with its immense scale, has always captivated human curiosity. Questions about whether it has a boundary or extends infinitely remain at the forefront of exploration. Based on observations, scientists believe the universe began approximately 13.8 billion years ago. From this foundation, they constructed a standard cosmic model to explain the universe's evolution. However, Webb's latest findings have cast doubt on some of these long-standing theories. This advanced telescope, capable of probing deeper into the early cosmos than any before it, suggests we may need to rethink our understanding. While traditional beliefs hold that the universe had a definite starting point and has been expanding since, some scientists now speculate that the universe may not have had a conventional beginning or that its early state was drastically different from what we currently know. At the 2024 International Space Science Institute Breakthrough Workshop in Bern, Switzerland, scientists reviewed Webb's findings in a new study titled The First Billion Years, according to the James Webb Telescope. They analyzed the universe's first billion years following the Big Bang a critical period when galaxies were forming, stars were emerging, and black holes were gaining mass. Observing these early galaxies requires highly advanced telescopes. While the Hubble Space Telescope could observe redshifts up to 11, the Webb Telescope has significantly expanded this boundary, reaching redshifts as high as 14.32. These observations reveal that ancient galaxies during the cosmic dawn were far brighter and larger than previously anticipated. The galaxy identified as Jade's GSZ-14 contains several hundred million solar masses. This discovery raises an intriguing question. How could nature produce such a bright, massive, and extensive galaxy within a mere 300 million years after the Big Bang? Furthermore, astronomers have detected carbon in a galaxy that existed just 350 million years post-Big Bang, hinting that the conditions necessary for life might have been present almost from the universe's earliest moments. The unexpected presence of oxygen in this early galaxy suggests that multiple generations of massive stars had already lived and died before this galaxy was observed. These findings collectively reveal that Jade's GSZ-14 defies the expectations set by theoretical models and computer simulations for galaxies in the early universe. Based on current data, scientists predict that the James Webb Telescope will soon observe galaxies dating back to the universe's infancy at redshifts as high as 20, corresponding to a time when the universe was only a few hundred million years old. However, this possibility has raised concerns among scientists. If the telescope identifies even older galaxies, it could upend current understandings of galaxy formation. According to the standard cosmological model, 
there is a boundary in our universe known as the Dark Age, beyond which no light can be observed. After the Big Bang, the universe entered this phase, characterized by neutral hydrogen gas that rendered it opaque and devoid of stars or galaxies. Everything we know about the universe beyond the Dark Ages is theoretical. What lies beyond remains a mystery. Surprisingly, new images from the James Webb Telescope have revealed galaxies that seem to have existed before the Dark Ages. This revelation has left scientists perplexed as it challenges conventional ideas about galaxy formation in the early universe. Even more baffling is the observation that these ancient galaxies bear little resemblance to those from the universe's early epochs. These discoveries raise profound questions. Are we possibly observing an entirely different universe? Why do we repeatedly find massive and mature galaxies as we delve deeper into the cosmos? If current physics holds true, observations of the early universe should reveal smaller, younger galaxies with a definitive point where no galaxies or stars exist. Yet, as the Webb Telescope continues its exploration, uncovering increasingly massive galaxies at earlier epochs, it appears we might be witnessing a universe governed by entirely different physical laws. Beyond these massive, luminous galaxies from pre-Dark Age times, other phenomena are emerging that defy established theories. Recent studies have introduced an unexpected twist in our understanding of the universe's origins. The fundamental laws of physics, which have been reliable for describing the nearby universe, might have operated slightly differently in the early cosmos. A study published in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics suggests that gravity may have been about 1% weaker on large scales in the early universe. This conclusion was drawn after analyzing data from the cosmic microwave background, the faint radiation left over from the Big Bang. The CMB set is a vital tool for understanding the universe's infancy, such as the formation of the first galaxies and events immediately following the Big Bang. However, researchers found that their existing models did not align with observed data. By tweaking Einstein's theory to account for a 1% reduction in gravity, the models fit the observations more accurately. This small modification hints that Einstein's theory might need adjustments when applied to the early universe. Another significant issue in cosmology is the inconsistent measurements of the universe's expansion rate, as revealed by recent observations from the James Webb Telescope. These findings suggest that the universe is not expanding uniformly. Multiple measurement methods have been validated as accurate, ruling out errors. This inconsistency implies that the cosmological constant known as dark energy and believed to drive expansion may not actually be constant. Instead, its value could vary in different regions of the universe. These findings are increasingly showing that as we peer deeper into the early universe, our theories are struggling to keep up. One hypothesis proposed to explain this asymmetry is the idea that our universe might have collided with another during its rapid inflation. According to the multiverse hypothesis, our universe could have formed near another, and during its rapid expansion, it may have interacted with its neighbor. This collision could explain why physical laws appear inconsistent across different regions of the universe. For example, the southern part of the universe might be governed by a different set of physical laws than the northern part. This idea could also clarify the presence of massive and ancient galaxies 
just a few million years after the Big Bang, as well as the directional differences in the universe's structure. These discrepancies between theories and observations are unveiling profound mysteries about the cosmos. New data from the James Webb Telescope continues to provide insights and prompt alternative explanations for the universe's origins. Ultimately, either there's a major gap in our understanding of the universe, or the early cosmos operates in ways we cannot yet grasp. That's all for now. Share your thoughts about these groundbreaking discoveries in the comments.